All right, so here we go. We're back at it. We've got a beautiful day here, so I'm going to capitalize on it. It's supposed to be chances of rain all the rest of the week. Got the engine Yanker 3000 put up here. The gantry, wooden gantry crane I built. I'll put a link in the description for that if you guys have any interest in seeing that. I got my made in China hoist right here. Got a jack underneath the transmission pan right now holding that up. And I'm going to put my fancy engine sling across it now, which is just an old seat belt. If you can't tie knots or you're questionable at tying knots, don't use this procedure. As long as you tie it pretty secure, it'll kind of cinch itself up a little bit. crank it down so I can get a hold of it and we'll see what we got. some weight on it and I think the big trick here is going to be uh, standing clear of any exploding framing members or uh, associated splinters that may be moving at high velocity. that answers the question whether or not it'll hold. All right. Now I'm going to get set up, spin it around, and get it ready to go on an engine stand.
set up for last time. Oh, I had some crummy little Suzuki motor on this thing last time. Here I was thinking I'd be all set up, ready to go. That should be fun trying to get the engine stand in here. Chances of me being able to let this down and roll this thing right on. That's something. That worked out much better than I could have imagined that it would. The reason I went about doing it the way I did, number one, I was taking a sheet metal off anyway. Number two, the brakes are locked up in the back, so it's not like I could just roll the car forward and backward real easy. And this worked out better than I thought. So I'm happy, I'm happy with that. No drama. The engine yanker 3000 didn't explode into splinters. Didn't break anything. Minimal mess. I did not expect that to work that easily. Okay. I gotta clean up all this mess and shove this motor somewhere in here with a bag over it. Hey guys, so it's the day after the engine pull. Just out here kind of trying to clean up some of my mess. Uh, everything went went really smoothly yesterday. I couldn't have expected any better. Until I tried to pull the transmission out through the front and then tipped it over and dumped transmission fluid all over my carport. So that was uh, that was not good. But uh, just trying to get some things straightened up, organized, get things rearranged a little bit. 
and uh, really am impressed with how well the the wooden gantry crane held up. Uh, if you go back and you, you're actually paying attention when I start putting load on the thing, I was watching it really intently because I was expecting it to creak and make noises and shift and flex, and it did none of that. Um, I would be pretty confident to use it to pull a big block. It pulled this fully dressed 302 like it was nothing. Um, we're talking probably 550 pounds or so without the intake upper plenum on there. Um, so it was really impressive. I'll be pretty confident to use it again. And it was not on level ground and it's just a bunch of things that you would think wouldn't work out to its benefit, but it did a great job. So again, I'll put a link to the build uh, down in the description so you guys can check that out if you have interest in that. Uh, you can build it a lot cheaper than I did and uh, I just went a little overkill on hardware and all that sort of stuff. So you guys can build it cheaper. You can probably even build it a little less heavy duty and still get the same results. Uh, the big thing is going to be how you fit it together. You can build it as heavy duty as you want, but if, if things don't fit together properly, if they're not plumb and, and level and all these things, you might as well hang it up. So it came out really well. Um, and that's just another step in this process. So I'm excited about getting this car out of here and getting the, uh, getting the 89, the, the tan car in here so I can get this motor put in it. Uh, first I have to do a few things. I'll put a few fresh gaskets in that new rear main seal, valve cover gasket, oil pan gasket, basic stuff like that. I do need to reuse the injectors and a fuel rail from the tan car because these things are all dirty and clogged up and, uh, didn't want to run so we'll get that taken care of and we will start getting it in that other car so I'm looking like I said I'm looking forward to getting rid of this Hulk from the carport and probably reorganizing my shed for about the 15th time so I can fit some more of this junk in there get it out of the way and I have area to actually move around so but right now like I said I'm just reorganizing and just kind of give you guys keep you guys up to date on what what's going on I know I didn't say a lot in the video and when I was pulling the engine you guys got a great great camera angle of my back and then me talking in the other direction so that's I'm still working on stuff like that so thanks for sticking with me and stay tuned for more stuff like this and some more uh, you know I'll do different things here and there but it's primarily gonna be turning wrenches so stick around I'll catch you guys later